Good morning, Pastor's Pals! I hope you're having a great day. Listen, mine is better already because we can spend a few moments together. Hey, have you ever heard the term witness? What's a witness? Well, a witness is something a person can be or it can be something a person does. If we think about a witness as what a person is, then it's a person who sees an event or has a first-hand experience. In other words, a witness is someone who saw something and can tell others about it. Or maybe the person had an experience that he or she can share with others. A witness is sometimes called on to testify or share an account of what was seen. In short, a witness is an individual who can talk about what he or she witnessed. Well, that's why the person's called a witness. A witness may be called on to testify in court where there is a judge and maybe even a jury to try to figure out what happened at a particular time and place. Like at the scene of a crime. Whoa! So, a witness can be a pretty important thing, right? Witnesses may especially be called on to testify or talk about the character of someone they know. When in a court, a witness may be asked to place his or her hand on the Bible, raise his or her right hand, and promise to tell the truth. Do you promise that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Wow! That's pretty serious! So a witness is called upon to tell or share the truth. Being a witness is serious and important. After all, Jesus told his disciples they were witnesses of what he had done. And he wanted them to tell others about it. In Luke chapter 24, verses 46 through 48, Jesus said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ would suffer and rise again from the dead the third day, and that repentance for forgiveness of sins would be proclaimed in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Jesus said this after he had died on the cross and was placed in the tomb and had risen again. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Jesus told his disciples, you shall be my witnesses to the remotest part of the earth. In other words, wherever they went, they were to serve as witnesses, telling others about what they had seen and experienced with Jesus. They were to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about Jesus. Don't be upset if you don't understand everything there is to know about being a witness, though, pastors, pals. Even the disciples of Jesus didn't understand it first. They weren't even sure what they had experienced at first when Jesus came back from the dead. They wondered if they might be seeing a ghost. Of course, Jesus told them they didn't need to have any doubt. He said in Luke chapter 24, verse 39, Look at my hands. They could see it really was Jesus because the prints from the nails where he had hung on the cross were plain to see. He also ate some food to show them that he really was alive. So he prepared them to go forth and be his witnesses, telling others about the truth of God's love, the fact that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and the miracle of his coming back to life. You know what, Pastor Spouse? Just as Jesus called his disciples back then to be witnesses, Jesus has called us to be his witnesses today. We need to tell others about what we know and have experienced with Jesus. We need to testify or share with others about what Jesus has done, especially what he's done for us. Well, that's called giving a testimony, and it's very personal. The Bible tells us we should be ready to give a testimony about Jesus anytime, anywhere. 
1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18 tells us, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. The reason we have hope is because of Jesus. When you experience the love of God through Jesus and trust Him to be your Savior and Lord, you're called to be a witness and share your testimony. The Bible makes it clear that we are to be a witness. Now maybe you think you can't do that, but God can give you the strength and courage. Being a witness simply involves sharing a testimony of God's fulfilling love. Everything we have and everything we are is because of Jesus. We should want others to know that so they can know Him like we do. You know something, Pastor's Pals? Everyone has a story. You and I have a story. When that story involves God's love and what Jesus has done for us, it's a testimony. And as followers of Jesus, we're called to be His witnesses and testify or share with others about His wonderful love. So remember, a witness is called upon to tell or share the truth. Jesus said He is the truth, so we're called to tell others about Jesus. We're to share the story of Jesus. That's called the gospel or the good news, and we're to share it with others. Dear God, thank you for your love for us. Thank you for sharing your truth with us in the Bible and through Jesus. Help us to be witnesses for you, sharing our testimony so others can know just how wonderful you are. In Jesus' name, amen.